there dr rose here from dr rose's perfume corner so uh i'm still sick because i have recorded about maybe five videos in one day with the same horsey voice anyway uh when we see people that says i would love to start collecting fragrances but i don't know how to start what to buy because you know it, i mean it's buying a fragrance to me uh for the first time or to start a collection can be a little bit intimidating especially if the person is not used to having a lot of fragrances around if they don't have a lot of female friends that are into perfumes it wasn't difficult for me because as a you know young adult i started buying fragrances i was just buying them and i became a blind buy purchaser and right now all i have to do is just maybe read some reviews and also look at the notes in the fragrance online and i'll be able to tell whether i'm going to like it or dislike it or if i'm going to love it so but for some people who do not like to take those kind of chances uh, i would say if you want to start a fragrance collection it can be a little bit intimidating so this video is about five fragrances that i'm going to share with you that you can start maybe exploring to start your fragrance journey if you haven't done so even if you've done so some of these fragrances are fragrances that i think you know should be part of any women's collection or men's collection because they are beautiful fragrances and then i think they can be considered versatile fragrances or maybe going out fragrances so before we get into the fragrances let's talk about the safety tip for this video the, the title for the safety tip is called protect your home when you're leaving your house you know if you have more than one cars right uh, if you're going away for a very long time I would say instead of driving to the airport leave your car parked in front of your house because the park car in front of a house is letting people know this person is home so that could actually protect your home right make sure that the car is visibly parked in front of the house right in the driveway or somewhere but also always lock your doors when you're at home even if you come at home for a few minutes just you just running inside the house to get something you're gonna run out again just lock the door behind you because you never know who is watching you while you're inside of the house for a couple minutes the person all they need is a couple of minutes to get inside of your house while you're inside of the house right uh if you know if you can maybe try to invest into into a motion sensor light system so when you come home the lights will turn on you know uh with the motion or if you come at home and someone is in the house because of the motion uh, system you know the light will be on so you will know that hey somebody's inside of this house why are the lights on except if you have a pet if you have a pet the pet will turn the light on right so but you also have to be careful uh this was my safety tip for the week so when i come back i'm gonna tell you about those five beautiful fragrances that you can use to start your fragrance journey it's not only five but i'm gonna talk about five of them but there are more than five maybe two for each occasion and uh that I'm gonna share with you. So stay tuned, I will be back. All right, we are back. Are you still with me? So let's talk about fragrances to start your fragrance journey, to start your collection. Things, fragrances that you can buy or you can maybe try to get a tester of right to start that fragrance collection that you so badly wanted to start and believe it or not fragrances are a beautiful thing for women for men to wear you know smelling great you know getting that compliment feeling that confident when you smell beautiful it's just you know a beautiful thing take it from me when I put on my fragrances after I've taken a shower and put on an outfit, I feel especially beautiful because I know I smell good. Let me stop talking and get into those fragrances. 
so in order to start a fragrance collection or also known as a fragrance journey you must have different fragrances right you need to have something for winter you need to have something for spring something for summer you also need something to go out with you also need a an easy rich fragrance an easy rich fragrance is something you can just wear anytime you want to wear that fragrance right you're going to the mall to the movies to dinner to work this is your easy rich fragrance that fragrance can actually be on the bottom of that big press that you carry around or anywhere in your house you know uh not in your bathroom don't put perfumes in your bathrooms because of the you know the shower and all the steam that will destroy the fragrance but maybe in the downstairs bathroom where people do not shower in right or anywhere in around the house you have that easy rich fragrance or maybe in your dresser right there you, know, you can just grab it and then spray it on your on your body uh, even when you go into bed this is what I, I refer to an easy rich fragrance so you know and and i also say you know a signature scent right that's what i call them easy witch or signature scent to me those two terms are synonymous uh, with each other because you know signature scent you wear it all the time easy witch you can wear it all the time so for the first fragrance let's talk about something to go out with right you need something that is especially that you can wear out you can pick this fragrance you can say I'm going to work today and then after work I have a dinner thing right or you have you know uh, a PTA you know conference or something you're going out you want to change your fragrance so that fragrance could be your going out fragrance or a wedding fragrance you're going to do a wedding or you're going to the movies you know it's something when you feel like it's not something you, it's not going to work you're just going out somewhere to enjoy life and doing something differently than just your everyday uh your everyday duties right so that's on that's a going out fragrance and for this uh, fragrance i would say to pick over to by zerjoff all right so the going out fragrance is here over to by zerjoff okay my first impression when i uh smell felt uh, you know uh, uh, smell this fragrance the first thing i said wow dang it you have to be a very confident person in order to wear this fragrance right and i read somewhere someone says you know this is too masculine you know it reminds them of uh, a ceo driving a mercedes benz wearing this fragrance that's bs to me this is a fragrance that you know any confident person can wear it's a beautiful fragrance it's sexy it's confident you know when you wear this fragrance people will know that you are wearing a beautiful fragrance a very expensive fragrance and you know a fragrance to go out it doesn't have to be expensive but it has to be something that you enjoy wearing and i would say to try to get your nose on this fragrance and make this your going out fragrance if you wanted to otherwise you can buy something else but i think overture is the perfect fragrance it has some cashmere wood in it some amber some incense it also has some cinnamon on some bulgarian rose it's such a beautiful fragrance that are uh, versatile for men and women to wear you know to give you that confidence when you're going out and you will feel beautiful you'll feel sexy with this uh, fragrance on so remember I said that I will give you more than one for the for the each occasion fragrances to wear. So the uh, fragrance number two, you know, as an alternative, if you did not want to buy Ouverture, you could actually buy Gold Incense. And Gold Incense from Carolina Herrera is one of my favorites from the line from the uh, Carolina Herrera fragrances. And this one has some cinnamon, it has some marigold, some bergamot. It also has some uh, labdanum, Madagascar vanilla, and some sandalwood. This is so beautiful. Like the dry down on this thing is mesmerizing, guys. It goes very well balanced, very sweet, and that incense uh, touch that it has, that cinnamon and sandalwood, you know, uh, makes this fragrance very beautiful and extremely long lasting. So, this could be. You know an alternative to your going out fragrance it's so sexy and beautiful you will love it all right the third one 
uh, that I could say uh, uh, you know for going out fragrance uh, but you know it's not so much going out this one can be all year long fragrance I think in my opinion this is Fab Delicious from Dior this is one of the yummiest fragrances that I have ever come across it's a very yummy fragrance in my collection it has you know some pausy note some vanilla some tocca bean it's sweet you know the opening is very sweet I also get some chocolate and and uh, and some cocoa undertone in this fragrance for me it's more of a female oriented fragrance but it's so beautiful you will love this fragrance I love wearing it as you can see uh, this is I think my third or fourth bottle or fifth bottle from this fragrance I just love wearing this fragrance this to me is like can be an easy with fragrance because I just love wearing this fragrance but it can also be something to go out with right uh, I've yet to come across anyone who did not like or love wearing Fève Delicious. I hope they never discontinue this fragrance because it's such a beautiful Guma fragrance. All right, so for spring fragrances, you know, for your fragrance journey, I would suggest that, you know, Bois des Îles by Chanel. This is part of the less exclusive line. This one has some Neroli, some peach, some mandarin in it. Lily of the Valley it has a lot of notes. Of course, the notes will be listed up, up here for you, and also they will be in the description box so you don't have to go and search for the notes. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It also has some, some tucker bean, tucker bean and moss and vanilla in it. Uh, Bois d'Azil is such a beautiful fragrance. It's a special fragrance, right? I wish you know I had the extra version to this fragrance. The opening is a little zesty little citrusy but then it develops into this deep complexity and, and sandalwood fragrance right spices uh, and, and, and you know and the blend in this fragrance just you know makes it so nice but also it has some soft flowers right I mean when you wear this fragrance you feel like you are wrapped into a ginger gingerbread cookie right it's very cozy it's very comforting it sits very close to the skin after a while but the staying power is very nice it's a beautiful fragrance to start your you know your your fragrance collection Bois d'Azil to me is just gorgeous it's a timeless masterpiece I love wearing this fragrance and spring you know cannot come you know I wish I would would have two you know two spring seasons every year so I could enjoy this fragrance more and more uh, during you know these two seasons but it's just a beautiful fragrance the second alternative to uh for a spring fragrance, I would say it's Coco Mademoiselle Intense by Chanel. This is from the regular Chanel. This one has some Sicilian orange. It has some uh, lemon. It has some rose, some jasmine. This is such a comforting fragrance. It's very nostalgic to me, right? It makes me feel like a kid again when I wear this fragrance. I have everything that they make for Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, I have the body spray. Uh, the body oil, the soap, the body lotion, the body cream. I love wearing this fragrance. When you wear everything with it, it's, it becomes kind of nuclear. I would say do not wear all of them together, but you know, maybe a combination of the perfume and the body lotion, or maybe a combination of the body cream and the body spray uh, is enough uh, for you to wear. It, I mean, it's weird, but sometimes it reminds me of, you know, of this lady uh, that I would see as a role model, right? It's such a wonderful uh, fragrance, and it's here to stay. I think every woman, ladies, young girls, you need to have Coco Mademoiselle in your collection. It can also be an easy rich fragrance because it's so beautiful. I love wearing it. I love the way it makes me feel. It's, it's just so gorgeous. You cannot go wrong with this fragrance. Again. Coco Mademoiselle Intense. You know, you can either buy the Intense version or you can buy the regular one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Both of them are beautiful, exquisite uh, fragrances. All right, another one for spring, I would say is Rose Omeyad by Atelier des Uh Everybody knows how I feel about this house. I love their fragrances. I think I have maybe four or five. I don't remember how many I have, but I think it's, it's probably more than three. This one has some raspberry, some pink pepper in it, some sugar, patchouli. It's a lover's 
dream if you love rose fragrances this will make your rose fragrance uh, love come true right rose omeyad is a high quality niche fragrance that lives uh, up to its name it's true i mean it's very artistic right the interpretation of this rose is beautiful marie salmine which is the uh, nose behind this fragrance you know created a stunning fragrance anyone wearing rose omeyad will stand out because it's bold it's classy it's seductive and it's also very decadent right that is if you are looking for a rose fragrance this is the one to try you will not be disappointed this will be very sexy to add into your collection your fragrance journey collection absolutely stunning fragrance another beautiful not too expensive fragrance for spring is roses vanille from the house of mancera oh my god this one has some lemon it has some rose it has a lot of sugar in it it's yummy and the vanilla in this fragrance uh it's so oh beautiful there's uh, for some reason i smell a little booziness to this fragrance but the notes doesn't call for any boozy notes right but uh, to me i don't know what makes it a little boozy to me but i smell uh, a little booziness to this fragrance this fragrance was a love for me at first sniff of course i purchased it you know as a blind buy it's actually the fragrance that made me realize that I do like rose fragrances, okay? It's such a sweet rose. It's soft, it's wearable. The vanilla and the um, moss are very gorgeous. I cannot get enough of this fragrance. I have, I think I've gone to maybe five bottles of this already in my fragrance journey and I will never ever be without this fragrance. I just love wearing it and uh, I just need to spray it, okay? I need to spray this. It's so beautiful. Such, such a beautiful rose and vanilla mixed fragrance. I don't think anybody can make a better rose and vanilla mixed fragrance better than Mancera has made this fragrance. It's beautiful. It's not too expensive. You can get this at the discounters. You can buy this and wear it during the spring. It's so sexy. All right. So now we are getting into the fragrances for summer, right? For your fragrance journey if you need some summer uh, fragrances i have three of them that i'm gonna uh, talk about the first one is a love for me this is bond number nine so new york this one has been around for a while this one has some mirabel plum, uh, plum some cacao and some coffee in it oh my god this is so nostalgic and gorgeous definitely unisex fragrance with it very delicious but simple scent profile you know it's beautiful it's sexy but it's also a very simple fragrance right whatever weird combination of notes you know they put in this fragrance it just works okay the combination it's a little sour at first right but you know it's it just it's very mouth very watering right I mean it's you can smell a little bit of the espresso in this fragrance you know the uh, dry down you smell the cacao I mean it's a gourmet uh, lover fragrance okay it's oh it's such a beautiful fragrance it smells very chocolatey uh, it smells like a piece of cake it's so beautiful and you know I've had maybe two bottles of this and I usually wear this to bed and I don't wait for the summer to wear this fragrance I just wore it to bed it's such a beautiful fragrance and this could actually be one of your easy rich fragrances you know uh, if you wanted it to be an easy rich fragrance or something to just wear throughout the summer i just love wearing this fragrance again bond number nine so new york all right number two uh for summer is number five low from chanel uh, this is the low version this is the lighter uh, version from the regular number five which I'm gonna talk to later on in this video but this is lemon neroli orange bergamot lime it has some jasmine some rose in it this is oh my god 
I love all versions of number five, but this one I think is especially good for spring and summer during the day and as a bedtime scent all year long. I am realizing that, you know, this fragrance reminds me of, you know, a lot of Sprite, right? Uh, when you drink a really nice Sprite when it's hot, right? It's sweet. Maybe it's the ginger and the aloe in it that makes it a little, you know, uh, sweet for me. But oh my God, I mean, it does. I don't think it, I don't think this has ginger by looking at the notes here. But I feel like it, you know, it smells like ginger, right? It's it's very effer effervescent. It's a little bubbly. Uh, this fragrance, right? I mean, the citrus and the lime in this fragrance just makes it so sexy. You know, you can spray this on you. If you're going to the beach, right, spray this perfume on. I know you're not supposed to wear fragrances when you're going to the beach because you're going to get in the water. But who cares? It's your body, it's your fragrance. You know, wear it in good health. I love wearing this fragrance. I love it for bedtime. It's such a beautiful, nice fragrance. Versatile fragrance. Ladies, you will enjoy wearing this fragrance. The last one for summer is Ica Jasmine by uh, Aaron Lauder. Oh. Oh my god, if you are uh, a jasmine lover, this is the fragrance to have for summer, right? To add to your fragrance journey to your collection. It's a pretty jasmine, it has some honeysuckle, some tuberose in it, right? A little bit of sandalwood. Uh, it's not heavy, it's not cloning, it's not animalic. It's just a very lovely jasmine fragrance. This is a must for me. It's great for spring and summer, but better for summer daytime in my opinion. I don't think it's strong enough to wear out at night, right? Because in the summer at night it gets a little bit, you know, uh, hot. And also depending on where you live, it could be very humid, right? So, but uh, summer daytime, early morning, perfect fragrance. You know, when you wear that beautiful sundress and then a beautiful white sundress, and then you, beautiful sandal, you will feel very elegant. And you know, nowadays, you want to smell beautiful, you know, because COVID is almost over with, right? So you don't have to wear a mask, you know, places anymore, so you can smell your fragrance and walk down the street feeling very confident, showing off your beautiful lipstick, your beautiful summer lipstick, right? And uh, if you, well put together and then you put on this fragrance you will smell sexy and beautiful but I wouldn't wear this you know at night because I don't think it should be worn at night but during the daytime this will be a beautiful fragrance for daytime against Ica Jasmine by Aaron Lauder okay so let's get into the fall fragrances now I don't have too many for fall because a fall fragrance is a fall fragrance right so I think I have maybe one or two to discuss with you for fall. The first one is C. Armani Intense by Armani Privé. This one has some patchouli, it has some, uh, some syrupy notes. It's beautiful, it has some benzoin. Oh my God, I love this fragrance. I'm convinced that Armani Privé does not release a fragrance that is not good, okay? From the regular line and also from the uh, Privé line, these are beautiful sexy fragrance this is an amazing uh, scent it's sexy it's confident it's mature it's very classy it has the right amount of sweetness for you and i think most anyone could pull this fragrance off and it's something that you know would earn you lots and lots of compliment the black currant pops out you know in this uh, for me this is a huge love for me it will be part of my collection for a very long time i will always have this fragrance if you haven't tried it i said you can find this like at macy's nordstrom dillard's you know uh, go check it out and smell it you will fall in love with it you will end up buying it because i just love wearing this fragrance it's so sexy all right the last one fragrance that i want to talk about is something that you want to wear uh, in the uh, winter and also use it as a signature scent okay this one is chanel number no. five you can wear this for winter you can use it as a signature scent and also you can also uh, 
use this as your winter fragrance remember in the beginning i said overture can be used as your winter fragrance but signature scent fragrance uh, chanel number no. five you will not don't look for the red bottle because you will not find the red bottle anymore the red bottle was an immediate edition but you will find the clear bottle uh, i say make this as part of your collection i just love uh you know uh number no. five I will always have this. Everyone in my family, they have number five and we have everything that comes with number five. Make this part of your collection. You will love it. Uh, men, women would love wearing this fragrance. I don't know how many men actually wear number five. I'm sure there are quite um, a few men who actually love number five, even though they probably will, you know, will never admit to it. But I know a few guys who actually, their girlfriends and wives, they have number five and they wear it. They will never admit to it. But you know what? It's up to you if you don't want to admit to it that you love number f you love one number five, but I love wearing it. You can wear this in the winter and also as a signature scent. All right, guys, this is it for me. This was uh, a video about uh, five fragrances that I think you can buy, you know, as part of your fragrance journey to start your fragrance collection. I know I showed more than five, but I was trying to give you different fragrances that you can buy to start your journey if you haven't started your fragrance journey yet i would say start it you don't have to buy five to start with right you can just buy one and then you know keep adding to it right don't go don't feel like you're obligated to go and buy five fragrances because you know they can be a little a little pricey but i would love to hear if you have started a collection come back and tell me about it and i would love to you know uh, see what you have purchased and thank you for watching this video. Remember buy the fragrance, buy the shoes, make sure you wear the fragrance, make sure you wear the shoes, eat the dessert and then forget about the haters. Go on about life. Life is beautiful. Stay healthy. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye now.